looks like a good spot. No single test tells us all we need to know about water quality in local streams. So Charlotte Mecklenburg Stormwater Services uses many different tracking methods to get a complete picture of stream health. Some methods rely on remote access technology. Other methods require getting in the stream and getting wet. Some pollution problems are easy to see. Other types can only be detected with a microscope and a laboratory analysis. These automated devices are in streams all around Charlotte Mecklenburg. It's called CMAN, the Continuous Monitoring and Alert Notification Network. The gauges automatically record the water temperature, amount of oxygen in the water, electrical conductivity, pH and turbidity or murkiness of the water. Each is an important measure of the stream's health or an indicator of possible pollution. Day and night, the gauges send data to computers to show real-time trouble and track long-term trends. Stormwater Services employees also walk hundreds of miles each year in and along streams looking for water quality problems. So that's one of our main goals is to, to get into our creeks, walk them and look for pollution problems um, in the hopes that we can find a problem and remedy that problem. That includes sanitary sewer overflows, damaged pipes, bank erosion, and anything other than rainwater coming out of storm drain pipes. Another way to measure water quality is seeing what creatures are living in our creeks. Staff calls this bugging and fishing. The bugs are officially known as benthic macroinvertebrates. Benthic refers to the sediment at the bottom of the creek. Macro means big enough to be seen without a microscope. Invertebrate means it doesn't have a backbone. So benthic macroinvertebrates include crayfish, freshwater mussels, and a whole bunch of water-loving bugs like dragonflies. You've probably heard of canaries in a coal mine. Well, some creatures, canaries or bugs, are very sensitive to toxic environments. There are species of benthic macroinvertebrates that only live in clean water. If the water is dirty, they move away. So when we find those squeaky clean types of aquatic life in our creeks, that tells us the water quality should be good. On the other hand, some types of benthic macroinvertebrates can tolerate polluted water quite well. Finding those critters in a stream may mean the water is dirty. The same with fish. Some species can only survive in clean water. So experts can tell a lot about whether a creek water is clean or not by monitoring what types of creatures live in the water. You know, the fish are in the water all the time and they're a good indicator of pollution and water quality. So if we have good water quality, we should see lots of fish, lots of species. And if we have bad water quality, we won't see as much diversity. Stormwater Services scientists use dip nets to stir up sediment from the creek bed. The nets catch any critters or eggs living in that sediment. It's also important to know what kind of aquatic life is hiding under the rocks. The rocks in the stream are lifted up and what's underneath washes into a kick net. The contents of the net are put into buckets and pans. Staff sorts through the organisms in the containers and also takes the catch back to the lab to be put under the microscope. The data is used to give the stream a rating score. It's based on the types of bugs and fish living there and the quality or abundance of each species. Each creek's biotic index score is one way of measuring the overall health of the stream. Stormwater services will continue to monitor our streams, including the bug and fish populations. It's part of our ongoing effort to measure water quality and see if our streams are getting cleaner.